and welcome to Patrick's mo Models and Transport. So we're, go we're actually seeing that the baggage car, SNCF baggage car, pulled by a 140C 280 SNCF locomotive, or in origin a TAT locomotive, and uh, which has but this is just a short test run to see if this carriage is actually lighting up. This locomotive has got the notorious uh, rubber belt drive uh, between the motor and the gearing. It goes very well uh, if you, once you change the, the rubber band, the, the rubber belt. There's a French company that makes them. You can buy them on, uh, on eBay. They make them out of siliconic rubber, very good. Let's see if that back light's wanting to work. But. Is it? It is lighting up. It is lighting a bit. Not really very well. I've done all sorts of attempts to make this here work really properly, but it's not one of the best. Not one of the best, uh, this carriage. So, in future, I might, as much as I like things or original, I might just disconnect uh, the pickup from the rails. And, uh, seeing it's very easy to open, just put the battery inside and just have it lit up by battery a nice 9 volt battery and that's it end of story and that way I have a good good lighting at the back plus added weight so mentioning the locomotive this is a very nice locomotive I bought this second hand and serviced it very smooth running and quiet because, because of the, with the belt drive But we'll actually do a proper presentation to this locomotive in another occasion. Okay, that's it. And uh, in fact, as I was mentioning, sometimes the belt drive doesn't kick in straight away. See, you see, it's t it tends to, sli to slip a bit. Um, I'm going to have a, just show you. Well, actually, hold on. Let's go and spy in here. If you look, if we look in here, through the firebox, we can actually see the motor pulley for the belt drive. And that motors in here, and the belt drive goes down onto the drive shaft, which drives the axles. Pickup is very, very good quality. It's really a very good locomotive. This is Juefa. This I've got two locomotives with the uh, Juefa locomotives with the belt drive, and I got new belts for both of them, and they're very good. But they, yes, they have they have some limits. Even if it's a very nice in origin, this had uh, so there's a belt drive and what how, how does it work motor belt drive drives a drive shaft with uh, the worm drive that drives the the gears so there's only one this this is the this is the axle the driven axle for the worm drive uh, why did they come up with this idea mystery i don't know probably because it's quieter that's it. The main idea of the belt drive is it's quieter. It's a bit of a wonky idea, in my opinion, because these same locomotives, the older ones, have just got a, a gear drive from the motor to the drive shaft. Uh, the drive shaft with the worm drive. So the purpose of this is, uh, I don't know, a bit of a quirky French thing, but... I like it. It's very good, and you can get the belt drives, and then 
Oh, okay, it works. So let's just drive it away. Let's see if it wants to work. See, see it's slipping now. So the trick to do is to go in reverse. There you go. It catches in reverse. And then you just go forward again. And no problem. Okay, we'll just let it come round another lap. Lovely locomotive, I really like it. Okay, right. Better go and measure measure out the the glazing for the SNCF baggage baggage wagon, and uh, then get everything ready and screw the roof back on. Okay, so that's enough for the moment. Cheerio, and see you next time.